crisis for animals. We hear all the time about how shelters and rescues are overflowing. There's no room. The solution to that is what's being done inside this building. So you take out the ovaries and the uterus. Veterinarian Sarah Cooper is with the Joyce Fay and Neuter Clinic with New Vishon Life in Lebanon. We always monitor them and make sure that everything's good. She's about a quarter of a way through a full slate of surgeries scheduled for the day. I think we have 27 today. Uh, which is, is a lower number than normal. That's right. One vet and more than two dozen surgeries. There's just not enough of us. And that's just part of the problem. The key to slowing the flood of unwanted cats and dogs crowding shelters is controlling the births. These big girls can you know, have 11, 12 babies at a time, and that's a lot of babies. Low-cost clinics are the key, but the recent sudden closure of the Michael Shipley Clinic in Putnam County leaves many pet owners in the area with nowhere else to turn. Now with them gone, it's either come this way to us or go east, but look how close. There's nothing close to any of these counties. Angela Chapman with New Leash says the combination of not enough vets and scarce financial resources leaves pet owners waiting months now for a spay or neuter if they can even get an appointment. And she fears this is part of a troubling trend as more low-cost clinics struggle to stay open. We literally had people driving from an hour to two hours away just to get here because they can get an appointment with us and couldn't find one closer. Consider when a clinic like this spays and neuters, say, 5,000 dogs and cats in a year, that prevents more than 100 times that number of unwanted animals. It really does make a difference. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. And there really is no simple solution. Chapman says New Leash's clinic remains open with just the one vet. And more needs to be done to encourage kids to pursue careers in veterinary medicine. And communities need to commit more resources to supporting low-cost spay and neuter clinics.